Taoiseach, um, you say that the government doesn't intend to go back to what you call the previous model of social partnership, and I'm not going to ask you about that, really, because um, social partnership was never much, never more than a fraudulent concept uh, by which uh, big business, big financiers were allowed rip-roaring profits, the fruits of speculation, uh, and uh, gouging young people in the property market, for example, uh, but holding wages to uh, uh, quite restrained limits. So it wasn't a partnership in any sense. Taoiseach, do you find or understand how telling it is that you did formally meet the Irish Farmers Association, which represents the biggest farmers and ranchers in the country? You met the Irish Business Employers Confederation, which represents the biggest businesses, and the Construction Industry Federation, which uh, represents the biggest developers uh, and uh, bosses in construction. And you never met workers, and th these organisations, by the way, are some of their members have uh, regular access to your office through the, uh, the, 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 the Clearing Services uh, uh, Committee. But you never met any workers who were the victims of the policies that you and the Labour Party have imposed for the last three years. Now, um, Taoiseach, with regard to uh, legislation affecting uh, working people, um, as you might remember, we are commemorating the centenary of 1913, where very brave working men and women uh, stood and fought for the rights of workers to organise, uh, to have a decent life, and were starved and abused and battened and bullied by the organised employers, the police, the state, and uh, the big business media of the day, notably independent newspapers. Now, do you find it acceptable, Taoiseach, that 100 years later, employers are still not obliged to recognise a trade union in the workplace when the workers decide to join a union and want the union to negotiate on their behalf? And do you intend to bring in a trade union recognition bill? And what is your schedule for that, if you do? Can you be very clear and not miss that question on this occasion, please? And secondly, and lastly, Taoiseach, do you find it acceptable that... Uh, businesses which gain considerable amounts of money from public bodies that are funded by the taxpayer uh, can routinely ignore the, uh, the, the, the structured machinery of negotiation, for example, the Labour Court, when workers or their representatives ask that they would attend uh, hearings of particular cases and grievances. For example, a group of workers at Milne Foods in Burr County Offaly have been taking a series of one-day strike action for a considerable period, seeking decent wages and conditions. Workers who are parents, Taoiseach, parents of uh, young children, who have five, six, seven years' experience, are still on the minimum wage or very little above it in that plant. Yet, these, um, this employer, I, I'll just wait till your consultation with Deputy Bannon is, is finished, if you don't mind. The information about yourself there. Now, do, do you think that it is acceptable, Taoiseach, that this company, Milner Foods, which provides essential supplies like vegetables, potatoes and salads, to the HSE facilities, like Tullamore Hospital, for example, a big co a contract, that it can refuse to go to the Labour Court when requested to do so, and when the workers and the SIPTU union which represents them want them to do so, when the HSE tells me in a letter uh, that they believed that the employer did so, but as late as last Thursday, the employer refused to show up. So what kind of... A country are you presiding over, Taoiseach, when employers can ride roughshod 
over uh, uh, work, work, workers on such low pay and difficult conditions uh, 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 as this, even those that are on public contracts from uh, taxpayers' funds. Mm -hmm. 